Well, we're taking you back to 1982 before either one of us was on this earth. Yeah, that's right. A time when the price of a six pack of beer <laughs> would cost you just under $4. And a local man's beer can collection attracted the attention of our cameras. Two Works For You digital reporter Sarah Dewberry has this morning's Flashback Friday. Welcome to Flashback Friday. I'm your host, Sarah Dewberry. Every Friday, I'll be taking you back in time by showing you stories from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and beyond. For the first time in Oklahoma history, you can stop by your local grocery store and grab a bottle of wine or an ice-cold can of strong beer. Hashtag blessed. So today's Flashback Friday is all for the beer lovers out there as reporter Mark Becker takes us all the way back to November 14th, 1982 and introduces us to two guys who loved collecting beer cans. If it ever found its way out of the brewery in a can, chances are you'd find that can here. Collectors from this area brought some of the old favorites and a good mix of the obscure. But to the keen eye of a collector like Frank Heller, they're more than just another pretty label. Take this can, for instance. It's Heller's pride and joy and the envy of others. Now worth $1,000 or more, Heller found it under bushes in California, where it was ignored for more than 50 years. We were very happy to get them, but we didn't realize till we got home uh, what a rare find we had when we found out there's only 20 of those known. And the cans, well, they're a story in themselves. Ah, to be immortalized on the label of your favorite brew. This fellow would never have made it on a postage stamp. The Duke might yet, but somehow his swing looks just fine right here. A brewery in Scotland has a swinging idea for hyping their sales but there's no telling what the brewers of Froth and Slosh had in mind with this can. But if there is a can, chances are Tom Hall has it. His apartment is a beer can fortress, 6,000 of them. And with four cats, there's barely enough room for Tom, who doesn't always understand it all himself. I really don't know why I started beer can collecting, to tell you the truth. I started out with a pyramid in the window over here with about uh, 50 or 60 cans in it just because they were different. They weren't sold around here. But when beer can collectors get together, they do know it's rewarding, something the rest of us will have to take for granted. Mark Becker, New Center 2. With strong beer and wine available at grocery and convenience stores, it might be time for Quick Trip to bring back these bad boys. Quitting time, O.B. Now, James Roy, I'm the boss now. I'll tell you when it's quitting time. Well, it's quitting time. Now you've got two Quittin' Time beers to go for at Quick Trip. Quittin' Time and a new gold can, and new Quittin' Time light. When it's Quittin' Time, ride on over to Quick Trip and take your pick. Let's go home, O.B. Hey, Roy, I'm the boss, Sam. Yeah. I'll tell you when it's time to go home. Well, let's go home. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll catch you next Friday for our next edition of Flashback Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Quitting time beer. Yeah, quit uh, had their own beer. I never knew that. Yeah. Hashtag interesting. Yeah, hashtag. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>